Hi, my name is Chelsea Ramirez, and I'm representing Cuba. Cuba is a beautiful island in the Caribbean with long sandy beaches. Cuba is made up of 14 provinces. It's well known for their tropical settings scattered with exotic plants and their native tree, the royal palm. Cuban food is very flavorful and is not spicy. Some of the more traditional dishes are black beans and white rice. Another favorite is a plantain, which is like a banana. Cuba is also known for their Cuban coffee. It's really strong and is loaded with caffeine. One shot of that will surely get you through your day. <laughs> One of Cuba's traditions is the quinceanera. It symbolizes the becoming of a woman, much like the Sweet Sixteen is celebrated here in the U.S. Walking down any of the Cuban streets, you would definitely find a noisy group of four people playing the Cuban preferred game, dominoes. On October 29, 1492, Christopher Columbus claimed Cuba for Spain. Cuba has some of the better conserved Spanish colonial architecture. Establishing a logical, well-defended, well-designed city was a way to demand control and respect. The Moro Castle was completed in 1597. The fort was designed to protect the country from attackers. The music and dances of Cuba are primarily salsa and merengue, which are very up-tempo and lively. There is another Cuban dance called the mambo. The choreography is very complex and the influence of jazz is obvious in the music. Cuba's flag consists of three colors, blue, white, and red, which all have special meanings. The blue symbolizes the ocean because it is an island. White symbolizes the peace that the Cubans are trying to have in their country. The red symbolizes all the bloodshed for fighting for their freedom. With its beaches, music, and traditions, Cuba is truly a unique and amazing country. I'm going to add a little more. You already hear Mexico and um, Cuba. We got Central America. We have Guatemala, uh, Nicaragua, no, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and El Salvador. Yes. Guatemala have the Tikal, they're just some of the beautiful temples that you can look around. They're just uh, magnificent. In El Salvador, have, they have a few of the ruins from the Mayas. And in Honduras, have the Copan, there is another of the ruins from the Mayas. Uh, Costa Rica is a beautiful country. They have a lot of volcanoes. Uh, they have five volcanoes that are very, you know, people go and see them. Some of them are active. They tend to import and export a lot of things like coffee, flowers, fruit. Uh, they're just, um, all of them have the, almost uh, the same climate than most of the countries here. But in Costa Rica, tend to be a little cooler and in Guatemala. By the mountains and then you have, by the coast, it's kind of nice and warm. Panama is my country. Panama, we have a lot of Indians. Uh, we have uh, the Kunas who live by the coast in the Atlantic coast. And we have the Guaymis who live in the... Um, but the mountains and tend to cross from one side to they tend to cross to Costa Rica to go and pick up coffee or any other crops. We have the Chocois who live in the jungle. They stay pretty much over there. They only dress from the waist down. They just uncover and walk. You know, we they just live in the jungle. It's completely different. Um, we're gonna have a little fashion show and explain to you about the outfits that we're wearing. Panama is very known for the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal right now is adding a new set of locks. That way the bigger ships can go, can cross through it. Uh, they already started the construction. They, they're, they're speeding it up, trying to get it fast. Um, it will take you eight hours to cross from one side to the other one. And then if you drive, you can go from the Atlantic to the Pacific in an hour and a half. That's the good thing. You have both sides, the, uh, the ocean, the both oceans at the same time. Panama temperature is pretty much the same all year round between 95 and 100 degrees. Um, we have two seasons, a dry and rainy season. Uh, in Panama, we use the dollar. The Americans were there from 1903 to 2000 when they, they closed all the bases and, and they, all, they gave it all back to the Panamanians. Uh, we're gonna go quick now to uh, Colombia. Colombia and then Welcome to Colombia. Welcome. My name is Adriana. I am from Colombia, Bogota, Colombia, over here. This is the capital of the city. 
is uh, the most bigger uh, country in Latin America after Brazil. Uh, we have two oceans over here, uh, Pacific uh, Ocean and Caribbean Sea. Um, uh, in Colombia, living uh, all around 41, 41 million. million people. Uh, we located in the beginning of the South America, and the principal uh, stuff or thing to exportation is coffee, of course, coffee, flowers, and materials or tested to, to make to make clothes. Um, this this plus over here we we still use in the uh, little towns for transportation. Uh, in Bogota, we do, we use this bus uh, for to make parties. We love dance, we love parties, um, and we have in Bogota uh, the the gold museum. Hmm? You can see there uh, a rings or things that make in in, in gold by our community, indigenous community. The principal indigenous community in Colombia was the Chichas, and they was uh, located in Santa Fe de Bogota. Uh, maybe you hear uh, uh, about Colombia, but bad, bad things about narco traffic or something like that. I hope that you today learn more than our country. Uh, Colombia is more than, than, than narco traffic. Is flowers coffee, good people, a beautiful woman, um, gold in three words, Colombia Spash. Morning everybody, my name is Alberto from Colombia too. Uh, let me add some information about, uh, uh, Diana just said about Colombia. Uh, she said we are a country with, uh, with uh, 41 million people. We are in the north part of South America. Uh, maybe you have you ever heard about the Colombian news, bad news, but uh, Colombia is the most important part of the United States in South America. Even with uh, more than 50 years with a bad situation with the guerrillas in Colombia, Colombia is still uh, a lot of people, very good people, it's good to do vacation there. Uh, uh, it's a commercial trade partner for the United States. So, if you hear about uh, bad news about Colombia, forget about it. We got a, a very, very good country. Uh, if you got the opportunity to travel, very good cities, good prices to travel. So, Colombia is open for everybody. Um, even after 50 years in South America with a lot of troubles, with different countries, right now is the most important part of the United States. So thank you. We have Venezuela. It's a beautiful country. It's a lot of contrast. You go from plains to mountains to the Caribbean. There's a beautiful place. You have the, uh, the Angel Falls. That's one of the biggest drops of waterfalls that they have in the world. Um, we just want to go to Brazil. Brazil, most of the countries are here were colonized by, Sp by the Spanish, by Spanish people. And Brazil was the only one colonized by Portuguese, Portugal, the Portuguese, and that's the only language they speak there, Portuguese. Uh, they have the beautiful Igasu waterfalls. They're very known for their soccer players. They have the carnival the last uh, four days. That's another thing they're very known for. Argentina and Chile are the only two countries who have female presence. They are beautiful places to go. They have the mountains and the glaciers. And both places, Chile does export and import uh, exports a lot of wine, vegetable fruits to the world. Uh, they have the Isla de Pascua, that is one of the main places. They have these beautiful monuments in there. We go quick to Peru and Ecuador. Peru, Peru is very known for it. Machu Picchu, the Incas uh, ruins. Ecuador is the center of the uh, the uh, hemisphere, and they're very known for. Um, the Galapagos Islands, they're beautiful, they have all kinds of animals, they have huge turtles, and the iguanas are, they have the water.
by the high priest at the New Year in his writing. 